Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today is the YouTubers Nail Art Stamping Weekly Collab. I think it's maybe a weekly stamping collab. <laughs> uh, okay, um, Judinka's Nail Art is hosting this week's and it is Fairy Tales. So let's see, I went with Cinderella. Not because I'm really overly fond of Cinderella, but I had blue nail polish. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Um, anyway, so let's take a look at everyone that joined um, the collab. Don't forget to check out their YouTube videos in the description box below. And um, subscribe if you're not one of their subscribers as well. Let's take a look at the photos, and then mine will be the last, and I'll show you how I created it. So let's get started. In this video, I am using Capricious Island by Wave Gel, Wave Gel's Shiny No Clean Top Coat, Wave Gel's Base Coat, Fairy Dust by Gel A's. I'm using Color Clubs on the Rocks, Bundle Monsters Straight Up Black. I'm using some pearls that I got on eBay. And I am using this Bundle Monster Plate and this Bunda de Uñas Plate. <laughs> I have um, two coats of Capricious Island on my fingernails right now, and I chose this color because it reminded me of Cinderella's dress. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, some of this Gel Ace Fairy Dust. It's my very favorite um, glitter topper in the whole world. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to add this to all of my fingers and then do a cup, top coat and we'll come back and we'll do the stamping. Isn't that just, oh, this just looks so beautiful and princess-like. I love it. So I think this will be a good base for my stamping. So let me just finish that up and then I'll top coat it and we'll come back and do the stamping. Okay, so I've got fairy dust and a layer of um, no white top coat on, so we're ready to do the stamping. You know, unfortunately this fairy dust really isn't coming up as beautiful on the screen as it is in person. It It is like a, a very, very fine, hollow top coat and I I completely love it especially for this um for this design so let's get into stamping I'm using this Barbie plate and it's by Mundo de Uñas and I'm really not loving these plates at all they've got super sharp edges so I'm kind of worried about them in my um in my holders and it's really, really rough on the top. So trying to clean it off with cotton is really not a good idea. It's just kind of really sucks. And it's too bad because they've got some really awesome plates. I just don't like them. Um, but that's just my opinion. And I just told you why. So <laughs> conform your own opinions. Um, I just I had to order some because I was probably only going to make the one order because it was coming from Mexico. So... Yeah, so I did order quite a few, maybe like four, something like that. I don't remember. Okay, but we're going to use this shoe right here because it's the only slipper that I have. And I'm going to try to create like a glass slipper kind of thing. Obviously, you can't stamp in clear and have the image actually work for you. So I am using silver 
thank goodness at least it picks up good I'll say that's a plus for that plate so I am just going to put it down right here and I love how that turned out going to the castle where the ball was held <laughs> and yes I'm using my bottle monster twice star places this looks like a really awesome fairy castle <laughs> so I'm just going to use my black I got the fairy castle, excuse my hand, <laughs> and we'll just pick it up, and we got a good pick up there, and now I'm just going to place it right here, and I am going to remove all those little bubbles. <laughs> um, to remove the bumble, bubbles, I have my little nail polish corrector pen here, and I'll just go in there and take those off. Oh, smear that. I'll get it off. Hold on. I might need some more acetone on this. I need some more acetone. Okay. So I got a little bit more acetone, so I'll just remove these black marks here. And because I'm working on gel, it's and everything is cured, it's not going to harm the um, polish, the blue polish at all. Okay. And I'm just dipping it in a jar of travel acetone <laughs> that I have. Dipping my little pen in there since it's dry. Okay, so I think that's great. And now that uh, these two images are dry, I am going to put a shiny top coat on. And then we'll see what else I'm going to do with this design. What I'm going to do is I have my very first bottle of shiny no clean top coat from Wave Gel. I, I do not know what happened to this. It's like really old. And it is super thick and I, I don't ever use it unless I want to like make one of those encapsulated looks or something like that um, but it's going to work out just perfectly for this design so let me show you what I'm going to do with this what I'm going to attempt to do is load this little slipper up with um, this thick top coat to kind of make it look 3D and make it look like glass. Look at that. I think it's working out. <laughs> I'm surprised I've never done this before. This is like the first time and I was just praying that it would work. <laughs> Yay. It's always nice when your nail design actually works out the way you're thinking it in your head. That looks completely thick to me. I'll try to get some on the heel. I wasn't sure whether I was going to try the heel or not. But I think I will because I have this teeny tiny dotting tool here and I think it'll work out. Let's see where the heck that heel ends. Okay. I think that has the look that I'm going for. Okay, so um, now I am going to cure that, and then we'll come back for the last part of it. 
Okay, I got the glassy 3D effect that I was going for. I really like how that turned out. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some little pink pearls on um, these other two fingers and that represents like the little beads that the birds brought um, to go with her first dress, ones that the nasty stepsisters ruined. My pearls aren't working so well. There we go. I'm just going to put some on my pinky, but I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me struggle with pearls on my pinky. <laughs> so I'm just going to cure that, um, put them on my pinky, cure it, and come back for the final look. Okay, so here's the finished look of my Cinderella princess nails. I'll do something different in this video. I'm going to give you like a close-up of all the nails. See how you like that. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is really fun to do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.